one of the key purpose of creating an Azure artifact which, which can behave as a NuGet server is to have the ability to create our own uh, packages and publish them, uh, which we do not want to expose it to on the, on the public NuGet server. So uh, uh, in, in the Microsoft or in the .NET framework, one of the ways to create and manage packages is using Visual Studio, the IDE from Microsoft. So uh, again, before you can publish a package to a NuGet server, by default, uh, Visual Studio uh, connects to um, uh, the, the public NuGet server. So uh, you first have to connect your Visual Studio or your project to uh, the artifact feed that you have created before you can start publishing packages. So in this video, we'll look at how to connect your newly created Azure artifact uh, or how to, how to create your NuGet, uh, your Visual Studio with your newly created Azure artifact feed so that you have everything set up to publish and download packages from your artifact feed. So uh, here I have um, the artifact feed again, uh, uh, which, which, we, which we created. Now I'll go to connect to a feed. And then since I'm trying to publish uh, the NuGet server, I can, I can click on uh, either NuGet.exe or Visual Studio. So basically in any case, we just need this URL, which is the unique URL to connect to this particular feed as a NuGet package. So let me copy this, uh, uh, the URL. And then I have here a Visual Studio open. Now this is a, a, a Mac uh, Visual Studio. Now the, the steps may be a bit different for a Windows OS. Uh, I'll try to cover that in, in the future videos. So uh, I have the Visual Studio open. Now I'll go to Visual Studio Preferences. Uh, and here, uh, if I go into the NuGet section and then click on General or click on Source. So you can notice here there is by default one source, which is a NuGet.org, which connects to the public NuGet server. So we can add multiple uh, NuGet servers as a, as a source for the Visual Studio to, to either download or publish the artifact. So let me remove this, uh, the, the public uh, uh, artifact server, then I'll go ahead and add a new package. So I'll say internal new get server and then I'll say fetched. So this is the location or the URL and then uh, it is asking for a username and password. So what I'll do is uh, I'll give my user uh, and then I'll generate a personal access token. So this is required basically to uh, authenticate yourself that you have the required permissions to, uh, to connect to this artifact. Instead of using password, username password will use a personal access token to achieve the same. So now I've given this token and uh, username right uh, and then add so now now that this is added now going forward any project that we go ahead and build uh, or uh, try to create it would start connecting to this particular package a uh, server instead of connecting to the new get server so let let's look at in the next section how to create a new package and publish it to this particular artifact